Right, I think this video is pretty self-explanatory, but today we're going to be sorting this out. Now, there's nothing wrong with this at all. I just want to make it look clean because that's the whole look that I'm going on this car pretty much. So let's do it. How am I going to do it, you might be wondering. So what I've done is I have bought this Kill All Wipers Delete Kit, and this is just a little bung that's completely flush with the glass. So essentially, this is what it's going to look like. Inside, you've got a little Kill All Wipers thing. Not that that matters because we've got a, we've got a cover for that anyway. Well, that's what it's going to look like on the outside. Now time to clean over and just get all the kit ready that we might need. So these are the steps that we're going to be following today. Um, three, ensure you don't remove the protective film just yet. That's absolutely fine. I'm sure we can manage that one. And we'll, we'll leave it in the bag just to, just to make everyone happy. And we'll leave that there as well. I might actually, once I've popped that off, um, put it over the little wiring loom just in case any water does actually get in if this adhesive doesn't hold up. Right, so I've kind of switched the video sort of motive here. I'm going to do it stage by stage just because it's a little finicky thing and usually these things go wrong when you're trying to do 15 things at once. So I'm just going to simply show you through each step. So you're then going to want to take this nut off here if you've done it like me, which is um, obviously the case. And the size is a 30 mil. Well, obviously you can see it's spinning there, but you need a 30 mil socket on the end of a half inch drive ratchet and it'll pop it off absolutely no problem at all. Right, so once you pop that off, you just need to hold that because it does spin. You do, your nut comes separate and then this falls through. And also another big white bit comes off as well, but I've put that away back in the bag now. You'll see it, it's that thing there. Um, so then you're left with a hole. Then what you want to do is turn, that's the back side, you want to turn that over. And we're going to be putting the adhesive around this little lip here. So I'm going to crack on with that now. And then you want to place it in the desired place. Obviously, if you want it upright, then do that. You want to just place it in the hole like so. Obviously, if you're doing it upright, it needs to be upside down like that. So I will show you what that looks like too. All right, so I've just put a little strip of tape over it there. And that's what it should look and sit like. You can see the adhesive just uh, leaked out the side there a little bit. That's what it should be like. You need to leave that tape on for about an hour just to ensure it's all correct and stuff. And then if you look through the other side... She's nice and flush, but we just need to seal the outside of it now, which involves um, applying the adhesive around this bit again, but on the outside. So you've got to have your kitchen roll up there ready to wipe it all up because it could get a bit messy and it's a white car. So if it goes wrong, like I said, I ain't going to be a happy bunny. Okay, that now brings us nicely to step eight, which I've already actually completed. It's just a cool, handy little thing. Keep your wires nice and safe too. And that's what this currently looks like now. I've got it in place. All the adhesives in there there's enough in there it's holding in place so i guess we've just got to leave that to set now it's a cold day i'm not sure it probably will affect it um but hey that's that's what we've got to deal with so what i'm going to actually do now is just leave it to set because step nine is peeling all the um protective seals off and putting the uh, boot trims back on so what i'm going to do in the meantime is just tidy up all this stuff back um get some more tape on the back of that get it set in solid so it looks really good um, and then we'll come back and check on the finished products in about half an hour's time. So it's been about an hour, and there is the finished product. Got all that wrapped up. Time to put the trim piece back on, and then we'll get to peeling off the thing on the outside, and then we'll have a final look at the outside. And there we have it. Now it's just time to peel this little guy off. Don't know how hard this is going to be. Very hard, it turns out. I'll leave this run in for the reveal. There we go. I've got it. Okay, let's take a peep at this. And look how nice that looks. That looks so, so clean. You can see clean my glasses as well. It's like a perfect reflection, but yeah. Oh my God, look how flush it is. So much better. You can't even tell there's a rear wiper delete on there. Hardly. I'm so pleased with that. And here it is, it's set overnight, it's the next morning, and look at that, absolutely solid. And that is how you do a kill all wipers kit on one of these and pretty much any car for that matter. So yeah, I think it looks so much cleaner. 
I prefer it way, way more than um, the other one that I did because, like I said, there was a whole recess there and, and stuff like that. It didn't really sue well and it was just like a rubber bung. It wasn't fit for the car. I sort of made it and fabbed it up myself. It did the job, don't get me wrong, but this one just looks miles better and it's going to perform better as well. Looks nice in pictures too because you can't even see it. It just looks like there's one clean sheet of glass there and that's that's what I was going for. This car's going to be hella clean. That's why I've started going for the spoiler and... Um, Something on the on the front as well, but I'll reveal that at a later date. But yeah, if you've enjoyed it and want to do this uh, to your own car and you feel like you can do now, leave a like. Um, thanks for watching. And I don't know if we've hit 200 subs yet, but hopefully we have. If not, subscribe because I want to go for 200 subs by the end of the year. Thank you.